Hello, everybody. Please say hello. I will write hello, comrades. Comrades, there we go. All right. <clears throat> Hey everybody, if you are joining me, watching this a replay of this, I'm just waiting for people to turn up. <clears throat> well, I'm just getting everything going and sharing, so just uh, sit tight, I won't be long. In the meantime, <clears throat> feel free to leave a comment, ask questions, do what you want to do. Be what you want to be, yeah. Yeah. Australian. Hey, let's go there. Yeah, why not? Um, one more. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Right now, there we go. Thanks, Graham. All right. Hi, Kate. Hello, Helena. How are you? Uh, can you guys hear me okay? G'day Shane, how you going mate? Good stuff, Sharon. Excellent. <clears throat> yeah, Shane, it's a bit like that. Aside from, um, aside from the couple of hours I had yesterday afternoon doing the um, the Billy Connolly portrait, I've yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle. Um, it's so much other stuff to get to, uh, to do with all the with the podcast and the tutorials and magazine articles and all this sort of stuff just been uh, absolutely flat out trying to get everything together website it's just um yeah a bit tricky but that's all right that is all good so what's been going on talk to me people anything exciting happening Okay. Mm. 
exciting stuff. <clears throat> so this evening, we're doing a piece that I, I just made up one day. Um, uh, yeah, Morissette's still on as far as I know, Shane. Yeah. Everything's cool. It's looking all right from there, uh, that side of things. One thing that might throw a spanner in the works, not for Morissette or anything, but for or for Newcastle or anything, is um, the so the weekend that I my last weekend in Newey. Um, excuse me, I'll be is it the twelve the thirteenth, and we come home on the fourteenth, and I'm supposed to fly back up on the Thursday. So that's the Monday I fly back down here. Then I'm supposed to fly back up to Brisbane on the Thursday for a three-day workshop that weekend. But if our border restrictions don't ease in the meantime, if I come back here, I have to quarantine for two weeks. So I won't be able to go to Brizzy. So there's all sorts of things going on. Um, but at this stage, yeah, there's no no dramas. Um, we'll be in Newcastle. We've, we've paid for flights and hire car and all that stuff so we'll be we'll be there so that will be good um it's just the weekend after i have to have a think about but no all looks all looks fine and dandy what about you helena i see you've been doing some unreal practicing which is great it's funny you know it's weird how the only way to get better at something is by doing it and practicing so good on you it's a, it's a good thing it's a, it's mandatory you have to it's just the way it is so you you're doing well hello kerry how are you hope you're well uh, so does anyone uh, listen to the podcasts the three episodes and then uh the Herman Peekle episode drops tomorrow morning. Should be cool. After we finish up tonight, I've got to, I've just reminded myself that I've got to do the show notes for the Herman Herman's episode. I haven't done that yet. Whoopsie daisy. Hey, Guinevere, how you going? awesome so <clears throat> yeah should be cool it's um it's a cool episode awesome yeah it's cool it's uh i mean obviously it's early days it's only been a, a week and three little episodes but all uh, all good reports and i'm being sent some cool products to re i don't know what they are yet but to review I know Schmenke is sending me something. Um, it's called uh, Aqua Drop, I think. It's like a it's like a liquid watercolor, um, but it's it's not dye based. It's actually pigment based, so um, not like a like an ink. So it's not dye based. So it actually is light fast. So it's uh, should be pretty cool. Muck around with. They come in little uh pipette type bottles and they do an opaque white in there that you can muck around with so that should be cool to have some fun with um yeah i don't know what else they're sending me but it should be great can't wait it's always good good fun getting sent stuff um <clears throat> but yeah anywho let's crack on to this picture so i'll bring it up here so here we go right i'll make it bigger so this is actually a painting that I did. I don't know if my signature's on this copy. Uh, must, it, must it be there? I'm not sure when. Probably in about 2015 or something like that. 16 maybe. Um, <clears throat> I just made it up. It was just a, a made up sort of scene to to muck around with. Uh, it's that, you know, I guess that's something from nothing kind of vibe again but more so of, of just getting this strong light. And if you have a look, there's a couple of things that are uh, sort of flipped on their head as far as the so-called rules go. Um, 
So if you have a look at the horizon, you'll notice that the it's darker at the horizon. Uh, the sky is darker at the horizon than it is um, like that. It's normally the other way around. So it's normally lighter at the horizon. And uh, it's a funny color, the purpley, the yellowy. Um, well, it's a dry brush. Uh, yeah, just got to muck around with some some different techniques and playing with the light, making sure we create full drama by pushing the pigment. So you can't you can't achieve decent results with this sort of thing without um, <clears throat> excuse me without using a lot of pigment and pushing it and not being afraid of it. Um, nothing worse than seeing weak sort of insipid paintings. You, you've got to be strong. Um, but we can do that. I've seen it from all of you guys just about. So there's no more um, boring rubbish. But I've got some nice brush strokes. There's a few little things in this piece that um, that are pretty cool. I like the, uh, the little sliver of light there at the horizon as that road goes around. Is the right balance, I think, of using white paper versus uh, opaque paint. Uh, this little windmilly looking thing on the right hand side, I hope to, I'll put something like that in. I hope to paint it a bit better, but we'll just, just muck around. Just play with your scene. <clears throat> as you, If you're painting along with this or watching the replay, um, paint your scene like... Um, you want to put something in there, cool, just go for it. Whatever shape, don't, you don't have to copy the shapes. You can if you like, but you don't have to copy the shapes that, that I'm putting up there because I'll probably just be winging it a little bit as we go through, and that's fine. The purpose of this exercise is to get that strong contrast and that dramatic, almost kind of hard to look at, glary light. So follow the principles and you'll be sweet. Now... Uh, I was going to say. Mm -mm -mm. What we want to do here is we want to kind of, you want to sort of imagine yourself. I know it sounds, this will, this will all sound a bit hippy-dippy, la di da -di, tree hugging rubbish, but it's not. Kind of imagine yourself in the scene a little bit. So if you can picture yourself, just look at this picture, picture yourself sort of walking through into it and you're in the middle of it and it's this guy's just doing these stupid things. It looks like a big dust bowl or something, dust storm coming in. Um, and the shadows are weird and it's creepy and freaky. Just try to imagine yourself there and just try to, yeah, just try and get that vibe and get that mood and the atmosphere. That's what we're after. It's all about mood and atmosphere, that's for sure. So, without further ado, I will shrink that. I'll get rid of me, because that's always good. There we go. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to shrink this to bugger all, but that's, that's okay, because it means that you're not reliant on it. Uh, can I make it a little bit bigger over there? No, uh, I'll make it, make it a little bit bigger up here, perhaps. Might be a bit, a bit better. Yeah. Ah, uh, that'll do. Who cares? It's all, it's all sweet. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that will be fine. Sure. Let's go get stuck in. Draw something up. Just real simple. Might muck around with some other shapes. But yeah, ultimately, I think I do want that road up the middle. I think that's kind of nice. It'd be. <clears throat> excuse me. There might be a case, and I'll see how I feel at the time. I suppose. Might be able to put a figure walking up there. Um, I probably wouldn't put two, even three. Maybe one would be dramatic. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. But anyhow, let's crack on and have a look. Go over to the painting. <clears throat> so you can't see my palette tonight because, I mean, it's here. See? There it is. Um, I love it, by the way. I absolutely can love it. <clears throat> I didn't swear then. I almost did. Uh, it's unreal. Um, because this happened. I'll show you. 
where is it? This thing <clears throat> that holds my phone, which is my normally my palette cam, has a thread there that goes onto tripod holders. And that thread is now attached whoop, to that instead of being glued inside there. So no pallet cam this evening. Sorry about that. It'll be back. It'll make a comeback. <clears throat> All right. Big atmosphere. Big, big atmosphere. <clears throat> and as usual, if there are any questions along the way, please, please, please ask away and I'll have a look. <clears throat> I have to move this mat over. Here we go. All right. So the sky is pretty big. That's deliberate, I reckon. That's a deliberate thing, for sure. Roughly about that. I like... I like that distant house. Farmhouse, whatever it is. Something there. Doesn't matter. Chimney, chimney pot. Let's do one of those things. And whatever. Could be all sorts there. So this is nothing. We're not drawing any other objects. We're just doing little shapes. Yeah. I'll bring it around. Why not? Yeah, that's good. It's going to come around pretty sharp. Yeah. Doubt that. Somewhere there is good. These things here are just old oh, tree stump or something, I don't know. It's just, they're just really devices to cast shadows and push things back. Um, I might even do a big telegraph pole or something. Yeah, later. I don't, I don't necessarily, in the original reference, I don't necessarily like the three poles. It looks a bit contrived. But we'll see how we go. And we might do some fence posts or something, whatever. In the sky we won't touch because we'll just let that play. Let it, let it go. Yeah, I reckon that's about it for the drawing. <clears throat> uh, well, you know, it's a quarter sheet, so it's always quarter that I demo with because it fits in the frame of the, of the camera. Uh, better than the other sizes. I like to paint bigger, but um, yeah, sometimes just not possible. But uh, yeah, quarter sheet, so a tiny bit smaller than A3. Okay. So I'll just give you a second to draw your things up. Um, you know, I might put the other sort of silo looking buildings or something like that. You know, something dust, weird industrial stuff. I don't know. Just as long as there's a bit of bit of stuff there, and then we don't want much over here. We want to have that balance. We've got to have the balance of activity, nothing, and then activity here, and then nothing here. So just that yin and yang, the balance. Just want to check my balance. It's all right, mate. No worries. It's all right. Okay. 
see it. The old <clears throat> Henry boy turned two the other day, Sunday. Two years old. That time has just gone so quickly. Like stupidly so. Two years. <sighs> Flies by. Flies by, mate. All right, so <clears throat> upside down, Miss Jane. This is not Mr. Squiggle. Did Mr. Was Mr. Squiggle all over the world, or was that just Australian? Or was it even, was it Australian? Was it English? Oh, Rob. I know. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. I know I loved it. I bloody loved it. I've got no idea how they did it. So clever. Splatty clever. So I'm starting upside down, but I'm going to start with the lighter colors, the yellowy. Ooh, so it's starting to break out again. Okay. What I'll do, I'm get a bit of water going here and there. Bit of water, why not? Let's get a bit of... Good old journey wernie Naples yellow, if you will. Some sort of yellow. We don't want to cover all the paper here. We want quite a lot of quite a lot of white paper in this. Let's get some purple. As we get closer down to the horizon. They're just sort of there's not much not much paint happening. It's just picking up rubbish from the palette. But um really want to keep that horizon white. So just breaking that up. Make it look a bit more natural. It's okay, it'll be a lot darker than this in a second. I'm just getting it started, basically. Let's transparent orange it up. Why not? Fair bit of white paper here. I'm just going to leave that stuff. I'm actually going to go back into the <clears throat> the dark horizon. Complementary colours too, so it's always fun to muck around with. Mate, it's quite strong. It's quite primary there at the moment, quite bright, but I'll uh, I'll rectify that with a bit of burnt sienna. I just wanted to have it mix on the paper. So it gives us a couple of different looks as we go through. All that, all the buildings under there, that'll be fine once once it all gets going. It'll be sweet. So 
some water if you need it. <clears throat> yep. I like to throw in sort of an unusual colour here and there. Why not? Like in the dark, in the horizon line. So obviously this is upside down, which is good. I'm going to go a bit of turquoise. Just a couple of spots. Don't want to make it too dark because you don't want to lose all of the light that's going on. So I'm just going to turn it <clears throat> back around this way so it has a chance for the gravity to do its thing. If you don't paint on an angle of any sort when you're painting watercolor, you're doing yourself a great disservice. Um, if you're painting wet like this, watercolor it's watercolor, so you are. Um, Paint on an angle. It doesn't have to be much. This is bugger all. Like I used to paint almost vertical. That's fine, but I just like it almost almost flat. But it's probably, you know, a couple of inches up at the front. And it just gives you so much, it does so much of the work for you that um, you'd be crazy if you don't do it. Um, this is almost looking okay. I'm happy with how it's dropping back down. I do want to get myself just a couple of clean tissues and I'm just going to roll it around. I like this method just to lift out a couple of dry spots. You don't want it to you don't want it to be completely and utterly dry, but you don't want to push it in and scrape things off, but uh, it just helps you get a little bit, a little bit of variety in your edges without having to go through and put more water. But that's all cool. <clears throat> so happy with that. Uh, while it's wet, we may as well go into this front part. <clears throat> So I'm thinking underneath wash here because I'm thinking ahead. Always got to think ahead. Um, and we're seeing warmth. There's warmth underneath there because it's going to be big, big shadows. So yeah, let's go a bit of grey rubbish, mucky rubbish here first. Dry brush is good. Yep, got a bit warmer. Well, it was weird painting a portrait yesterday. I'd never done it before. Um, so any time I'd ever tried to draw a portrait, draw somebody, um, just ended up disastrous. Always ended up looking like that person's brother or sister or something. So I was pretty happy that I got a likeness at least. I mean, he's a fairly recognizable face, I suppose. Now, I'm really careful here to keep this white stripe of white there. The white stripes, as you might well say. Fine, that can all bleed in, doesn't matter. It's going to be so dark over this way. Oh, 
while I've got that it's all sort of wet down here just while that's all going on any of these little white sort of oh, excuse me highlighty sort of spots that have been left just take advantage of that when it happens just grab yourself like a little there's a little bit of purpley or some sort of dark still sort of watery but while it's wet you just go back in and Put a couple of things that end up looking like shadows and it just gives you a bit more volume look like rocks or something yeah. always be aware any anything like that that you can ever get for free do it cool All right, that's pretty cool. Ah, thanks, Margaret. Good stuff. Excellent. Tonight, Margaret, you mean? Mini workshops on Thursday daytime. What do you mean this, what we're doing now? I don't know. I don't comprehend. That's okay. I'm a bit hard of understanding. All right, cool. Kind of can't really do too much more to this while it's in this state. So, ah, you guessed it. Good old hair dryer comes out. So here we go. You'll see it start to settle down as well as it dries. Should be okay. Always got to take care of things like this. I see those little white bits. They're your friends. If they can do something for you, they'll help you out. It's good. Okay. Ah, cool. Alrighty, here we go. Now, I do want to, uh, I do want two distinct layers in the uh, distance. Well, in the, the middle ground, I suppose. So, obviously, the building, etc., is going to be quite dark. Getting a little tiny bit of lavender with a bit of burnt sienna. Ah, too much burnt sienna. It's all right. Yeah, not dark enough. Maybe not. Not enough, not enough. It's 
got to stand out otherwise there's no point in having it but I just want to make this little bit of white a bit thinner and a bit rougher rougher looking so it's not so straight and this is your little tree line you can do whatever you like with it maybe bits of white to get Okay, excellent. Cool. Sort of happy with that, I think. It's all right. It's just a, that little background layer that'll do some cool stuff for us. <clears throat> Don't want to make it too strong. Ah, I was happy with it and then I went and touched it again. See? You'll be done. That's okay. It'll be right, mate. She'll be right. She'll be right, mate. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, bleeding. Who cares? Okay. Okay. Need some dark stuff mate some dark stuff burnt sienna neutral tint bit of ultramarine and we get going on the darks start with a definite shape which is this farmhouse thing remember I'm just, to, I've got too much paint on this brush right now, which is why I'm being so fiddly. But we don't, we want to, when we're creating little shapes, we're talking still pointy brush, really barely there, barely touching it. All right, let's do this thing. See if we can do this any better than we did last time. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do. This area here will make a bit more sense in a moment. Um, Let's do these little things, little silos or something, whatever they are. Some kind of rubbish. Don't know. That's cool. That's all I'm after. So, a couple of things I want to do. Just while this is all wet, just with a bit of clean water, I'm just going to soften some of these edges so they don't come bite us in the ass. Just do this, bang, 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 shadow, shadow. <clears throat> Just really mucking around with it at the moment. What I will do is get a good old palette knife. And actually kind of scrape out the roof a bit. Just 
bit like that, see what I mean? a whole bunch of stuff there and I didn't even have to paint it. Well, I did, but... Yeah, I'm just putting a couple of little dots of that transparent orange there. Just to break it up, that's all. That'll do something. Bit of water. Always remember that water is your friend. Unless you're stuck in a rip, in which case it's probably not too good. I'm just trying to create an interesting sort of skyline, and I think it is pretty cool. Cool, cool. Happy with that. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to everyone being able to check out Herman's episode tomorrow as well. It's a, it's a brilliant piece of interviewing. <laughs> um, no, he's a good fella. I wish... Uh, he could share some of the stories on the podcast that he has before, but got to keep it nice these days, don't you? You have to be polite and everything. <sighs> so I'm not happy with this. Uh, while it's still wet, I'm just mucking around with it. Get that warmth back in there. What's that? Got a bit of. I think I accidentally threw a tissue in my water yesterday. Just pick some of it up. Yummy. Yummy. Just defining this edge a little bit. Just putting it on and then softening it all up. Let water do some of the work for me. Off there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Good, excellent. Here we go. Bit lighter. Take too much longer and this will be over. Just 
trying to put this little tree stump thing in. If you can do it like that, just side of the brush and manipulate it a bit, and it's got that organic shape, half your luck, stay with it. Stay the course with that stuff. If you fluke it like that is, I think that's pretty cool. All I'm concentrating on here is getting some darkness into that left edge of it, but I don't really want to mess around with the shape of it too much because it looks pretty cool. Now, I mean, actually, it should be the other way around, to be honest. Other way around. Let's go darker on that side. Because the light's hitting it from the other way. Yeah, right, cool. Oh, I got it. Just had a bit of a brain fart. Happens a bit. <clears throat> it's okay. It's life. What else I want to do is firstly going to put This scene is your kind of scene. It doesn't have to make perfect sense or anything like that. Forget all that. We're just after that light, blinding kind of light. That's what we're looking for. We're not, not worrying about, oh, does that make sense there? Is that right? Just paint and see what happens. Paint with a bit of abandon and I'm going to do this all the way out yeah cool Gives us something funky to play with. Yeah, what I want to do is just try and mop up the edge of that a bit because I went a bit too heavy there. Okay. There so all you'll do is lay a bit of tissue down and it'll mop it up without getting rid of it all. That's good. Happy there. Excellent, 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 excellent. Awesome. It's looking cool. It looks, it's looking like, and you know what? I'm not going to put a figure in anywhere. It doesn't need it. And it's not that kind of scene. It's not my kind of scene, oh yeah. All right. Now this is made up, Margaret, this one. I made this one up a few years ago. And, um... I thought I'd, I looked, I saw it last night and I thought that'd be a cool thing to do just to, to show some different approaches to big, strong shapes and, and uh, some strong light as well. So looking all right, I need to, you guessed it, needs to be dry. Yeah, it needs to be dry for sure. All right now, let me just, there's the fence post. Anyway, whatever. All right, needs to be dry. Here we go.
Okay. Cool. That's a cool thing. Nice bleeding there when it was still a bit bit damp. The dry brush there. Good stuff. Love it. Love it. Oh, thanks, Julie. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's the aim of the game in this one is just to get lots of light going, lots of light effects and lots of shadow and all that kind of fun stuff. Which we're sort of at the point now of putting the shadows in and then we're finishing it off with a few highlights and probably even put some, um, you guessed it, power lines and stuff in. So should be cool. Still can't see any need for any red yet, so it's a bit of a worry. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Shadow. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Yeah. Let's mix up a big color. Big purpley gray. And I would normally, I've, I've got a this uh, brilliant blue violet that I use in my palette now. Um, and it's really nice. I just gray it down with a bit of burnt sienna and a tiny bit of ultramarine. But if you don't have the purple, just um, ultramarine, burnt sienna, and a tiny bit of red. Give you a nice muted gray. So let's. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Actually, what I'll do. Want a bit of softness, not much. But if I've got a couple of areas where the shadow that I paint hits that bit of water that I just sprayed on, then that's cool. Happy. All right. Nice and thin with this one. Thicker, obviously. Yeah, this is... Get that ridge. If you can always remember to get that ridge from the shadow that's going down there. Just gives you that sense of the, the gutter already, you know. That's cool. Um, yeah, I want to darken some of that. Cool. Bit too much there. Just going to soften that a bit. It's a bit neat and tidy. So I'm just splashing a few little bits on here and there. Just pretend there's something else over there that's casting one. Why not? Like I always say, just put a different color in your shadows too. It doesn't all have to be the one purpley bluey wash that you mix up. Different tones can help it. Different color temperatures. why I shook that up then. You get that when you're a bit daft. Okay, it's gonna be stronger here. Oop, shit, I got a lot of paint on that. It's just have to be a bit stronger.
Cool. <clears throat> All right, so that's cool. We'll just let that shadow see what it'll do. Even nicer. Bit of water. Bit of splash. Just clean water. Well, cleanish, I suppose. Let it splash. Let it mix. Do something. Good. Cool. Uh, it's got the rigger. Good old rigger. Rigaroo. And just do some quick. Confidence is the key. If you stuff it up, you stuff it up. Tough titties. But you can't do nice fluid strokes with any kind of hesitation. You just got to pretend you're cocky as all get out and just go for it. This one, do yeah, something. Make sure something's pointing back to the buildings, I guess. <clears throat> I'm going to do a couple of birds. I wasn't going to. I can't not. Oop, dots. Too dotty. It's okay. Just a big one there. Oh, look at that. Cool. Watercolour. Watercolour. Love it. All right. So I'm just going to dry this off, and then I'm going to finish it off with a bit of a few little highlights, little opaque highlights. Remember, I need to <clears throat> define the edge of the road a bit better first. Snow is the white or what? What? What do you mean? Are you talking about the road? Um, no, I just wanted to leave it there to um, just... It's a went over it at the beginning with a bit of a grey, that's all. It's just light. Yeah. Hadn't thought of snow, I guess it could be. But I just got a bit of bit of water on the edge here. The edge of the road. And just with a bit of some sort of colour. Doesn't matter what it is. Just need to define the edge of it a bit. And 
little bit of that. There we go. That's all right. That defines the edge of the road a bit there. Um, I do just want to bring a couple of marks around. Ah. That's all right. Too wet. That's okay. That looks a bit better. Cool. Excellent. All right. I'm happy with that. Road is sorted. Now, some highlights. Just here and there, usual sort of stuff. Lights coming from the left, so be aware of that kind of thing, I suppose. But don't get bogged down. Don't go putting perfectly straight lines on the edges of everything you've got. Dots and dashes here and there will do the trick. Don't worry about too many highlights on these distant buildings. You can have a few, but not, not too much, eh? Yeah, some lights on or something. Trusty lavender, same kind of thing. Just want to put a few highlights here and there. It's just sort of my little touches, I suppose. It's a good idea. It's a good little tip to find a color like this that you that you like, like an opaque color, and um, just whack a few little bits of it in at the end and see what happens. You know, even whatever. It's fine. Actually, really happy with that. Looks really nice. And no red, and I'm not going to put any in. And I promise I won't. At least I say that now. I'll leave the feed running with the picture up for a little bit. Um, I'm not leaving it just yet. But this is a good, good sort of exercises to concentrate on expressing yourself. What I was talking about if you've listened to the third episode of the podcast hate to mention it again but I'll, i will um is paint with some flair and some excitement you know you're, you're painting you're not i don't know you're not laying bricks or something tedious you, you're laying you know this is creativity and art we hope you know, it's not just formu formulaic, go through this, cover your paint, cover your canvas with liquid white. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, Bob. Um, you know, that it's not, it's not that kind of thing. We've got to express ourselves when we're painting. We don't want, look how much paint I put right there. Bloody hell. Anyone think I was freaking made of money? I actually like this. I, I think it's simple and it's nice, it's direct. It speaks messy industry, but it's strong light. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> Get rid of that. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. It actually looks quite nice. Um, 
just really effective in its absolutely in its simplicity. It's just direct. It's there. Um, yeah, it's cool. Oh, no problem, Julie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, something different. I, I like the. I like that the um, the sky is a major part of the mood and, and the atmosphere, of course. But you, if you ca you can't have a sky like that if you then go and be too careful and and everything. So yeah, I'm just quite into that that way of doing it. How are you guys going? Who's painting along and who's who's having a good time with it and who's not? Awesome. That's all right, Margaret. No problem at all. I love it. Thank you. Excellent, Kerry. Looking forward to seeing how it goes. Looking forward to seeing your work. Um, it's very cool. Very cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, uh, fair enough, Julie, fair enough. It's only a quick one, or it's only bloody nine o'clock. <laughs> so that's good. I, I like the, the loose, sketchy, sketchiness of it because it's just encouraging those brush strokes and free-flowing, bit, there's a bit of chaos in the scene, but it's nice light and... I like the shadow off the tree stump in the foreground. I like how that's gone all nice and watercolory, that misty sort of softness there. Yeah, it's all about doing it. That's right. <clears throat> Don't get any better without having a crack at it. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, cool. No worries, going to be. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing that. Uh, not sure yet, Margaret. I haven't haven't had a squeeze at Thursday yet. I'll uh, put something up tomorrow for sure. I struggled to. Uh, struggle to keep my eyes on what I'm doing at this moment, <laughs> let alone thinking too far ahead. But no, it's good. It's cool. good though it's all going well so um any other questions from anyone there tonight guys before i head off i once again really do appreciate any support i do have my patreon page out now so if uh, if you would like to uh, contribute on a regular basis to help me continue keeping the foot pirate ship afloat that'd be tops and there are some rewards and different packages and stuff there that you can actually get things in return as well as the content that I am providing. Thank you very much again. And um, yeah, keep an eye out. The podcast comes out tomorrow morning with Herman Peekle. Rate it, review it, uh, subscribe, let me know what you think, all of that kind of good stuff. Um, thank you very, very much. And I'll uh, see you guys soon. Thank you. And night-night. Have a good one. Bye-bye.